Hello my friends, welcome back. It's Nat Walsh for Cherish Cards. Because you know, because you're here. But hopefully, if you're not here for the first time, welcome. I am a Aussie chick and living in Australia, born and bred here. And it would be great if you like what you see to subscribe and like this video and hit the little bell for next time. And they will let you know when I upload a video. So in a recent haul I did from the Picture to Page and Beyond Craft Show here in Melbourne, I showed you a lot, a lot of lawn form that I picked up from a store called Hobby Hoppers here in Melbourne. And I will leave a link down below. There'll be also a link over on my blog to the actual stamp set and to Hobby Hoppers themselves. Trish from Hobby Hoppers had a little, she loves her lawn fawn and I got quite a few bits and pieces. This little one I bought for the reveal die, but I just couldn't help myself. It's just too cute. So it's called Bubbles of Joy and I've stamped those out and I'm making my own little scene and just figuring out where I'm going to put everything and I'm stamping those down with Memento Tuxedo Black because... Again, if you're new to this channel, I do a lot of Copic colouring. I'm just going to mask my little mouse there off because we're going to put a little bottle of bubbles behind him and his little, he's blowing some bubbles. I'm just using the tip of my eraser and I'm not throwing it around just to help me move because they're very, very sticky and they're quite little small. And last time I stamped that, there was a little hooray, because the last time I stamped that, I actually, it moved and he was not holding it. It was just floating in midair. So I'm very glad that I've done that correctly this time. Just trying to figure out my sentiment here. They're all got like little curvy banners there. So what we're going to have here, our sentiment's going to say, Life gives you trouble, blow bubbles. Because how can you be upset or mad if you're blowing bubbles? You just can't. You just can't. So we've stamped those down. The next thing I'm going to do is my some extra bubbles. Because, you know, we don't just get one bubble from our bubble blowing adventures. Remove my little mask there. I'm going to stamp these by hand on an acrylic block this way it just makes it easier when you're going to stamp little stamps and when you want a multitude of them so this way you can easily rotate it around like that and twist and turn and place it the way you would like to so there's quite a few bubbles there is even some little hearts there's a couple little hearts there's the three one that i'm going to use and there is also a single little heart which we're not going to use today so I've got all of those on my acrylic block and I'm just going to rotate those around. I will put a little, not the word pop, but you know the splatter when the bubbles pop and they go, go everywhere. So we're going to use a couple of those and there is a little bit of an oops and we're going to try and hide that a little bit. And looking at the card, I did a good job if I don't say so myself. So don't. Try and figure out, try and figure out ways to fix your little mistakes or your little oopses. So here we go We're in with our colouring of our ground first. I'll get rid of my ground and my sky. We are using, this is my medium shade of YG13. We've also got YG17 and YG11. I am doing a very delicate little line and it is, you can see it there, it is not straight whatsoever, not flat whatsoever. So it's very light handed squiggle and I'm just going to keep going back and forth with this. I'm going to try and make sure that my ground is not even because it adds a little bit of extra interest in it as well, but also the horizon that you can see that's slowly cropping up there it's not going to be flat either because you know what area is perfectly flat especially not around my house why is it the grass we're getting off track here why is it the grass that grows some like around the edges they grow so much faster than everywhere else and it's not like 
you know, we're in summer. Well, <laughs> we're leaving summer. We're heading out of summer now. So we had a lot of rain this past weekend. But other than that, we haven't really had too much rain. But, you know, around the edges, I'm assuming water just accumulates there. But, you know, I digress. It's just what I do. If Yeah, I just digress. So we just, we finished off our ground there. And it's a very... It's a fun little light colour. So we've got a W5, a W3 and we've got a WO. Now when I planned this one out I did have a W1 but for the life of me that baby has disappeared. So I don't know I don't know what I've done with him and I've, I've been away but there was nothing left behind when I came back so he might be buried somewhere. But I just haven't found. So a W1 is fine but a WO is going to do the same trick because you're still only you know, just short of four points in between the two the two numbers. So we're just doing a little bit of shading around our mices, our mices, our mices. So we've got sort of the back of them underneath their arms, um, the base of their ears. It's going to have a little bit of shadow, and down sort of in between at the bottom in between their legs so they're not they don't have an awful lot of color but i wanted a pretty neutral sort of color there is going to be the pink and i'm just going to go over them with a w o the same deal you might see this little dude a little bit more so just try and give him an illusion of that he's rounded but i'm not going to worry too much with him because he's still quite a little a little guy and again the r20 is going to be in his e in his ear so i'm just going to blend all that out and that is it the next thing i'm going to do is work on my sky now i'm doing a little bit different for from what i would normally do so we're doing very very light swipes of bg02 now this is just very very light swipes through it and I'm not honestly I'm not worrying too much about the bubbles because the bubbles are transparent so I'm trying not to put a the darker line the BG02 through the bubbles but I am not worrying about them too much this is you're not really going to see this too much in on the video but in real life and this is where I start to have problems with. This is where it's, I think it's really hard, but I've just picked up something dark from my mat. I have wiped my mat, but clearly not good enough. So we're going to work with that. I've tried to use a little bit of a sand eraser for that. And we're going to put a the darker BG02 over the top of it a little bit. And we're going to do something else a little bit later on to hide it that you're never going to know. Well, you'll know now because i've told you but the person who receives this card unless they've re seen my video they are not going to know so i'm just working through the three colors so we've got as i said bg02 bg000 and bg quadruple zero the next thing i'm going to do is just get my little white jelly roller moving and where i've got the bg02 i'm just going to do a little bit of a squiggly line that's going to break up that bg02 a little bit and just also give it a little bit of texture through my sky color his little handle of his bubble blower with e19 and e17 so there's not really too much the color the bubbles are going to be the part that is going to be a little bit more interesting hopefully so i've violet colors these are the colors we're still using out of the rest of it so our violet we've got v06 v05 and we go down to a v01 for our bubble and the label is going to be some a combinations of blue greens so a tilly sort of color which i've forgotten to do at the moment but we'll come back to him very shortly my bubbles including my hearts are going to be all colored the same way so I'm just adding a little semi-circle line in my bubbles. Obviously some of the little bubbles aren't really going to get that semi-circle. 
the darker color is basically just like a little tiny flick as I said you're going to see it much more on the biggest bubble there before you see it on the other ones so a little tiny very light-handed flick and we're going to use the bg triple zero to blend that out a little bit and soften that down that's going to happen to all of our colors soften that down a little bit the as i said i'm just doing the line so i'm trying to give it a little bit of dimension through there so the next color we've got is our v09 and again this lightest color we're just going around in a different spot to our bg triple zero we want an all over especially on that bigger one an all over round circle within a black outline the v05 just that little tiny slither and all of this is not in the same spot as other colors except the v01 will have the v05 on top just going to blend that out with my bg triple zero again so the darkest colors are going to be separated i thought it'd be cute to do the little o in blow as well i thought that was cute next thing we're going to go in with another bg we've got bg10 and again i'm trying to fill in gaps that i haven't already done in my circles and my darker color with the bg10 is going to be bg11 and again just a little tiny soft line and at this point i'm not worried especially with the small ones i'm not worried if they overlap because that's just going to give me a nice little texture nice little color combination there so we're going to go through all of our bubbles i forgot the one down the very bottom so apart from the label on our bottle which is going to be a combination with bg10 bg11 and i go up to a bg13 with him that is going to be it for our card for the coloring the next thing i'm going to do is add a bit of glossy accents now there's lots of different ones out there but i do like my glossy accents so once i've adhered my card down and so i can basically let it sit and dry and not have to worry about putting it together we're gonna i can you know i can just do it at my leisure so i'm trimming this down to 14.4 by 10 no i'm trimming it down to 14.1 by 9.7 centimeters coating that with a little bit of foam tape because especially the biggest bubble is going to have a lot of wetness to it so we want to make sure that's supported i've just got a card here i just thought there was a little tiny corner and that wasn't quite right so we fixed him up a little bit so this part is going to be all glued down now apart from our glossy accents that's the last thing i've got to do so i'm not going to show you all of this i'm going to cut some of it out but we're just trying to you don't shake the bottles you try and just keep a nice flowy movement using a little pick we're going to or pin we're going to cut that off and that's my card i hope you enjoy i hope you like it take care and i will talk to you next time bye